Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and one of the most popular videos on my channel came from this thing. This is the Parrot AR drone. It is a really cool little quadricopter that you can control from your iPhone. And if you have the drone 2.0 like I do, uh, there's a new product out for the drone that will add additional capabilities. It is called the Flight Recorder. And you might think, what's this do that's any different? The thing could always record video, and it could. However, this also adds GPS capabilities to the drone. So uh, not only can you uh, record video, but you can also now send the drone on a course that you choose from a map on your smartphone or tablet. And it is incredible. I mean, really incredible. So uh, this is how it works. You just plug it into the USB port on your, U on your drone 2.0. You have to have the 2.0 version. Uh, and then you just strap it in here, uh, secure it with the Velcro, make sure it's, an, it's on top of the battery. And uh, they recommend not putting on the shell that uh, they normally ask you to put on this thing. Just let it kind of fly bare. Uh, and then you load up the app and you can pick your course. You got to dial in your altitude and uh, hit the go button and this thing will fly to the coordinates that you specify. It is incredible. We're going to go head out to the backyard and have a look and see how it operates. All right, so we've loaded up the app and now we're in the map screen here and I've set a waypoint. So I'm going to have it go to my uh, driveway here in the middle of the property and come back. So it's just over there. Um, and then I'm going to have it uh, do some more stuff after it gets airborne. So I have it at its fastest speed, which is 1.2 meters per second. So we're going to click take off. And now it's up and now it's going to basically station keep right now. And it's using the GPS to do that. So I'm now going to hit go and it will go up to its desired altitude. And it's going to find its way over to the driveway, which is kind of a neat thing. So it's going to hover there. I'm going to start recording so we can watch this later. And once it gets to the driveway, it is going to stay put. And when it does get there, I'm going to go back to my app here, and I'm going to have it go down the driveway and then come back. Oops, getting a little bit confused. Have it go down the driveway a little bit, and then we're going to have it come back. So there it goes. As you can see, it's on its way there, and it's doing that. Now, what's cool is I can go then hit this home button here and have it come back to where it started from. So it's going to turn around, as you can see, and the drone is now going to come right back, hopefully to this rock here where we launched from. So let's see if it does that. I did find it gets a little problematic in wind. It doesn't move that fast when it's moving autonomously. So um, you want to make sure that uh, you have a lot of time and enough battery juice in this thing. The battery on these drones does go very quickly, so you have to be mindful of that. So here it comes. Now it should fly right over our head. Let's see, having a little altitude problems there. So the ground is a little off, so its sonar is getting messed up. So it got pretty close. I mean, the, the range was within three meters, so that's actually not bad considering. So I'm just going to tap on my location here and see if it finds its way to us. Here it comes. It's actually really neat to pilot this thing autonomously. So now I put it right on top of where my GPS location was, and it's pretty much right on top of us, which is kind of cool. So, and it'll station keep. It does a pretty good job of holding itself in place. Now, the wind will take it. In fact, I had this issue the other day where the wind blew it right into a tree before it could react to it. So, just be, uh, be aware of that. So, I'm going to move it over here a little bit. And here's the cool thing now. We can just say land. So, we'll go back to landing. And it will guide itself down to a safe landing right on the grass there. And that's it. So if we look back at our app, it'll give us the entire flight plan. Um, what it will also do is uh, after a little bit of time, it will upload to uh, the servers over at uh, Parrot HQ and give us some cool stuff. So that is how it works. So that is the flight recorder for the Parrot AR Drone 2.0. Really impressive product. I think it really lives up to the promise of what the Drone 2.0 was going to do for us. You can now do that uh, automated flight path. A couple things to keep in mind is just maybe set the altitude after you launch it. So maybe start it off at a low altitude and then bring it up uh, to where you want it to go before you send it off. The reason being is that I dialed up earlier today a high altitude, hit the go button, and boo, it just took off on me. So uh, keep that in mind. Another thing, Although the drone knows where it is, it doesn't know where there are things it can run into. So I, I had it up the other day. It's still uh, susceptible to the wind blowing, obviously. It's, it's physics. Uh, and the wind picked it up and blew it right into a tree. So uh, even though it was on a certain flight path, it got knocked, knocked off that path, and it couldn't adjust fast enough before it got blown into that tree. So uh, just uh, make sure you keep it you know, out in an open area where you can't 
uh, damage things or people uh, for that matter. But uh, beyond that, it is really, really cool. Uh, it will sync up to the AR Drone Academy uh, system that they have as part of the app. I haven't seen any of that data actually come back to me yet. It looks like it goes and gets synced and then gets processed and comes back to you. So uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video to show you what it looks like when you get that data back from the service. And I'm also going to take a look at uh, some desktop software that you can apparently use uh, on your computer with the drone uh, to also send it off on some missions. So maybe we'll do a, a two-parter on that. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the channel. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks again for watching. I'm really impressed with this thing. I'm going to go charge the battery and send it off on another flight. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.